and I know something is wrong with me, but I'm not willing to admit to myself that it's PTSD. And so this big, you know, brilliant solution, uh, brilliant in quotes that I come up with is I'm going to go home, run for mayor, because I think, well, you know, being in charge of my hometown, that's going to fill me up and make me feel good. But then the other promise I made to myself was I'm going to go to the VA. Well, I kept half the promise. I started running for mayor. It was going great. Uh, you know, to be fair, if you're going to run for president, and you decide to run for mayor, like you should be the front runner or what the hell were you doing? Um, <laughs> right. And uh, but then the, the part about going to the VA, I didn't keep that promise to myself. And then things just get worse and worse and worse. And now I'm having suicidal thoughts. And it's like, all right, it's time to go to the VA. So I go to the VA. And at first, like, I'm just sort of mortified at the fact that everybody's recognizing me because, you know, I run a lot of TV ads in, in Missouri and in Kansas City. And so I was very recognizable, which usually was great. Uh, not so much when you look like shit and you've shown up because you're suicidal and you're at the <laughs> VA. And pretty quickly, I end up in the emergency suicide hold uh, mm. at the VA emergency department. And all along the way, people are being very subtle and nice about it, but I can tell by the double takes, like, also these folks are like, that's Jason Kander. Uh, and now I'm in like four times too big scrubs that they've given me because they've taken away, you know, all of my belongings, my clothes, everything. And, uh, I'm sitting there and waiting for this psych resident to come in and see me. And he comes in and I, at first I'm <laughs> like relieved that this dude is from out of town and has no idea who I am. And we talked for like a half hour and I, he's the first person that I really, other than my wife, like told all of the problems I've been having, you know, that I had gone 11 years without a good night's sleep, that I had these oh. terrible night terrors and that I was paranoid about danger to my family and myself all the time. And that I felt angry and shame and self-loathing and all these things. And, uh, and that I was had been over the last several months very depressed and was now having these suicidal thoughts. And so he talks to me for about a half hour. And eventually, I think because I said that I had to go pick up my son at 430, he, I think he was like, okay, future plans. He's not going to kill himself today, so he's going to let me go. And he asked me, mm -hmm. he says, by the way, do you have like a particularly stressful job or something? And I was like, well, I'm in politics. And he's like, what does that mean? So I explain, you know, my background. And then <laughs> he's like, has it been like, particularly stressful lately. And I said, well, yeah, I mean, I was going to run for president and then I decided to run for mayor. Uh, and then, you know, now I'm just going to call that off tomorrow because I want to get help. And he's like, wait, president of what? And <laughs> keep in mind, like I'm a 37 year old dude in the suicide psych hold in clothes that don't fit because yeah. they've just given to me. And I'm like sitting there wrapping my arms around my, my knees. And, uh, and I'm like, well, of the United States, which felt <laughs> silly. Uh, 